what's up guys welcome back to another video today it's not gonna be a vlog but it is a more casual video i'm gonna be doing a q a so i asked you guys on my instagram any type of questions that you wanted to know so we're just gonna sit down have a little casual chat answer some questions and if you have any more questions just ask them in the comments below i feel like i should probably make my bed before i film this video Fuck. all right it's a little better Hopefully you can hear me fine because I'm shooting with my Canon G7X, not my fancy setup. And I also have my elliptical in the back. So so the first question is kind of an easy one. What my favorite song is at the moment? I love all types of music, so this is really hard. Um, but I would say my favorite song at the moment is CVS by Winnika Bowling League. Um, it's just like a really fun vibe. It just makes me happy. How do you get out of a creative block? So it's really hard because lately I feel like I have just been trapped in a creative rut. Um, I feel like with the pandemic and just like being trapped inside cause it's winter here and it's snowing, it's really hard for me to just like get motivated and create content. Um, I like to just take time away from social media to actually get creative if that makes sense but um when i'm off social media is when i get the most creative and most inspired because i'm going on pinterest or i'm getting inspiration from books or magazines um so that's pretty much kind of what i do i kind of like detach from social media to get my creative juices flowing how did you develop your style or brand so i feel like Obviously, as you grow older, you grow more comfortable within your own skin. And when it came to my fashion, it definitely evolved. I'm gonna put something on the screen right here that is a train wreck. This is me in high school. And I'm pretty sure there's a double polo action going on wearing Hollister. Um, kind of fell into that whole like, this is what you should be wearing phase. And then I grew out of it and realized once college hit, this is my style, this is who I wanna be fuck what other people say about my style um and you just kind of go with it once you find your confidence in your own skin it kind of just like happens you just like find your style one day are you moving soon you would it says would you living in california but i would assume that means would you move to california 100% would move to California if California wasn't all the way across the United States. Um, I'm very close to my family, so I just can't drop everything and move across to California as much as I'd love to. Um, we are definitely going to be moving this year, whether we buy a house in Massachusetts or we decide to move somewhere else. Um, everything's kind of up in the air right now, but our lease is up in May, so follow along, subscribe so you know where we're going and what we're doing. How do I find my own style of content creation? So when it comes to people finding their niche, which I hate because I don't fully believe in having a niche. I think you can be talented in many different areas and share anything with anybody. Um, but when it comes to finding your own style, I think it really just has to go back to what you feel most confident in. If you're a photographer, have a photography account. If you love fashion, have a fashion-based account, um, beauty, you like makeup just have a, a makeup account i think it's just a matter of finding what you love the most and what you're going to be happiest putting out to the public have you always been creative yes i've always been a creative person um i grew up my nana was an artist so i was always around art and creative energy i grew up being a competitive dancer so i was always listening to music my friends were creative um, i took tons of art classes honors art classes um, when i hit college a lot of studio art classes which were my favorite my dog is growling sorry about that <laughs> um, but yes i've always been a creative person throughout my entire life and i will forever next question are you married plan on marrying I am married. I have been married for three years. I have been with my husband for 10 years. He takes all my photos. Um, I'm not a full-time content creator though. I don't know if that's a question in here, but um, he does help me shoot my photos. What is the growth you're hoping to see? It says hashtag money personal. Um, hopefully my growth 
as a content creator takes the journey of being a full-time content creator. Right now, I am not a full-time content creator, um, so that's kind of the path that I would like to go on one day. Um, when it comes to money, I just want to be secure, financially secure in whatever I'm doing. Um, I would never quit my job until I knew 100% that content creation would pay my bills. And when it comes to growing, I hope that um, I can grow on Instagram, on YouTube. That's just my hope. Someone asked country or city. City, 100%. I love the city. Um, Colin is the complete opposite. Um, but I get so inspired when we're in the city, whether it be New York, Boston. I miss New York so much. Not being able to travel there. Um, it's like a little piece of me is missing. What's your favorite drink? I don't really drink a ton um, when it comes to cocktails. I would say just like a classic margarita or anything with tequila in it. Dream brand to shoot with. There are so many dream brands that I want to shoot with. I'm actually partnering with one of my dream ba brands this year, which I cannot say yet, but on February 22nd, you guys will be able to see it on my Instagram. So go follow me at the Blonde Girl Daily so you can see one of those dream brands. Um, I'd love to partner with like Doc Martin or uh, like Vans, like just companies that I wear all the time that I truly love. Um, like I, I just partner with brands that I actually use and like appreciate. Okay, the next question is, how did the Blonde Girl Daily get started? So I've always had a blog. I used to have a blog trillion years ago um and it kind of just died out it didn't really go anywhere i wasn't posting anything i wasn't feeling really inspired by the blog and then instagram kind of took over so that's when i started getting serious so i kind of just transferred that name the blonde girl daily over to instagram and kept it um part of me wants to change it i'm 30 years old now i don't know if i should keep the blonde girl daily title or just go by my name let me know in the comments what you guys think about that Okay, someone asked, favorite fiction or self-help book? Um, I love reading books about like manifestation and like magic and crystals and things like that. I just find them very interesting and like I've always been into that type of thing. A lot of people like find it really weird, um, but it, there's a book called E Squared. My camera battery just started flashing. It's a really good book about manifestation. If you would like to learn more about it, um, that's a good book to pick up. It's really easy to read also. Sorry, I had to go get a new battery. Um, where was I? I'm also slouching over, which is horrible for my neck and back, which is just another issue that I have. So someone asked, this was kind of like a long winded one, but what was it like in the beginning, assuming there was a time when you were like, am I going to start taking this more seriously? Um, in the beginning, well, let's just say in the beginning, Instagram was a lot easier to use and to grow on. In the past couple years is when I started taking it more seriously. Um, I started investing in myself and my content by buying proper equipment, taking time to actually plan out my content, um, tag brands that I would want to work with and actually email them. It's a lot to balance when you do have a full-time job. Um, I'm still trying to find that balance, but there was just a moment where I started actually making money and I started getting a following and like people were DMing me and talking to me as if I am, you know, someone they look up to. And that to me was kind of the turning point where I was like, I really want to do this. Like I want, I hate the term influencer, but like I like being a person that others can look up to in a positive light because I don't feel like there's a lot of content creators out there that are genuine, but I am completely real with you guys. I swear, I tell you when I'm upset, I tell you when I'm sad, I have anxiety and depression and I share that all on my Instagram and it's just, there needs to be more realness. Yes, my feed is curated, it's creative because that's my creative outlet, but I also share real moments with you. Um, so I guess when I started getting a real connection to my community is when I decided to fully dive in. Oh yeah, how hard was it figuring out your brand? It took me a while to figure out who I actually wanted to be and what I wanted to create on Instagram. Uh, I think it just took time for me to actually feel confident in the work that I was putting out to find my quote unquote brand. Um, I feel like I'm a lot more moody than people. There's a few creators that I feel like I align with um, 
that I follow, but a lot of the content creators on Instagram are doing the same thing. Everything is bright, everything is colorful, everything's a rainbow. No offense to them, that's great if it works for them. It's just not me, it's not my brand. And I have to say, if you are starting out, don't fall under the impression that you need to stick to what they're doing to be successful. Just be yourself and do what you love and do what you create because when you try to switch over, I've tried, honestly, didn't work for me, I was so unhappy. So just like be true to yourself, no matter what. So yeah, that was all the questions that I got this time around. Hopefully that was helpful and I'd love to do this again. So if you have any other questions, leave them in the comments below. Also, if you're not following me, if you're just a part of the YouTube family, go follow me on Instagram because I am, I post there all the time. YouTube is like, I'm trying here, okay? So follow me at the Blonde Girl Daily. That's my Instagram handle. I have some exciting partnerships this year that I'm working with that I can't wait to announce, which will be featured on my YouTube channel at some point. Um, and I'm also going on a road trip this week. I'm going to be posting this on a Sunday, Thursday, Wednesday night. We leave soon for Florida, which I'm so excited about, and I'm going to be vlogging our whole trip. So make sure you're following along, and the bell notification is on so you can get notified when I post a new video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!